Robertson Family Racing Pigeons, James here. Hope this finds everyone doing well, as always. Oh my goodness, it's finally cooling down and it is officially hoodie weather. So, speaking of hoodies, you guys want to see something sweet? This is sweet. Oh, oh check it out. One of our viewers and one of my friends surprised me with that. Pretty sweet. Thank you, Jeff. Love it. Just haven't had a chance to wear it because it's been so blasted hot and humid around here for the past many months. So, thank you. So, today we're going to talk a little bit about how my 2024 young birds are doing in the races. Um, a lot of races have gotten started. Um, club racing and one loft races. And so we're going to give you a little update because several of you have commented and asked about that. So we'll take a few minutes to do that. Okay, but we have to look at some birds too, right? This is band number 182. This is a grandson of Falco. This is off of Purple Greek and Rosalind Franklin. This is one of those backup stock cocks that uh, we had another video taking a bath. Man, this bird handles amazingly well. <laughs> I know I say that a lot, but this one really is perfection. Keel goes all the way to the vents, which are tight. Perfect tail. You can see that. Um, last year when I was selling late hatches, this was one of the ones that I was considering getting rid of, but then, um, it got out and then I was impressed by it because it had never been out before and yet it came back that night, entered the trap just perfectly. It figured all of it out on its own. Smart boy. I have a few siblings of this guy available. Super short bone right here. Humorous, tight wing. Everything you look for. Everything. 182. What a looker. Trembling in my hand. All right, so let's start with the big one. The Hoosier Classic Million Dollar Race. Woo! This one's exciting. So, um, actually, yeah, we just passed my one entry with uh, my other partner, Macon Loft. Boom, we've got one bird. We actually didn't send four. We thought we were going to send four. We sent two. One was doing really well, and then, um, for some reason, in the 100-mile uh, activation race, disappeared. You never know what happens. You never know. You know? Could, was that just like the limit for that bird? Maybe. Um, it was, like I said, it was doing really good in all the training. But maybe got injured. You just never know. But we have one more. And our fingers are crossed for that one. We are down to the final race, which is happening this weekend. Wow. Exciting. Very exciting. How did our one bird do last week in the 220 mile race? Not bad. It was in the top, what? Just under, let's take a look. 539. So that doesn't look great, but you just gotta remember, if we go and look at the, the stats, there's only 1700 birds that made it on the day out of 2,800 birds. So they were down like a thousand birds. It was a tough, tough day. So our bird ended up placing in the top 18%. Not bad. Hopefully it's gonna peak on the final. We're hoping, we've got our fingers crossed that we can just make the top 100. That's my goal. Man, I would just love to be in the top 100 at the Hoosier for our one bird, our one entry, that made it to the series. Come on, baby. So this is actually when I get the most nervous. It's the time between the second to last race and the final race. 
I'm always nervous that something's gonna happen to that bird during training, <laughs> you know? This made it all this way, made it this far, and then something stupid's gonna happen, like it's not gonna come home from a loft fly. You know, the week between the second to last race and shipping on the final race. Oh man, my fingers are crossed that that's not gonna be the case. Here's hoping. Who's your classic? Excited for that one. All eyes are going to be on that this weekend. Super fun. Martinez Classic. They've had two races so far. And um, I'm flying this one with uh, Abdiel Pino. So we got Pino Robertson. And we've had some birds do, some, do well so far. Two nest mates in particular have done well for us. So let's see. You've got to look for Robertson Pino. Robertson Pino, where are you? I have to be able to know my alphabet. Robert Sun. Oh, baby. We got a third. So we got a little bit of money on that one. And then 68. So 201 and 202. Watch for these guys. They keep switching back and forth at which one ends up being on the first drop. But they've both done well in all the training so far. I expect good things from them. And 216 has been fairly consistent. So fingers crossed there. Keeping our eyes on the Martinez Classic. We've got the Cuevas Classic. Oh, man, I'm excited about this one. I actually have um, partnered with multiple people for this race. And so, let's see. Just this is today. I don't think I don't think there's going to be anything. Might not be anything back today. Oh, there are. There are some birds back. Okay, so let's go to... Well, this is one of them, right? 12A Racing Loft. I need to get my name added to that. Okay, 47. 244 is one of the birds that I'm watching. That was one that I made a video of, and I said, I really like the way this bird handles. 244. I've kind of, that's kind of my pick for this team. That's the 12A. So then I've got another team with Mackenloft. Boom. Look for the long name. There it is. Right there. Shoot. Okay. Great. Now, on these tosses that are under 100 miles, I don't care what position they come in. I just want to see that they made it home. I don't get worked up about tosses. In fact, honestly, I really don't care how the birds do until once you get past 150 miles. Once we get past 150 miles, that's when I start to pay attention. And if I'm being completely transparent... All that really matters in my mind is that final. Everyone loves an average speed bird. It is true. Those are the best birds. Average speed birds. Those that have consistently performed um, from the short distances, the shorter races, starting around 100, 150 miles, all the way up to the final 350 or 400 miles. Those that can consistently deliver in that range of distances those are the best birds. I mean, that's uncontested. We all know that. We all hope for those types of birds. But when it comes down to it, after that, it's the final race that really counts. That's the one that matters. The 350-mile race. That's why with my birds, that's what I'm trying to develop and select for our bloodlines that will deliver on the 350 to 400 mile distance as young birds. So let's look at some other ones. Let's see, uh, I've got one more. MVP, we got one bird. So MVP partnered up with me last year. We we sent one bird, one bird in MVP, and that was Vominos, and he was a money winner. So we sent a full sibling to Vominos. We're gonna do it again, hopefully. That'll be fun. Okay, and then finally, I have another team with Mackenloft. Fantastic. So, we're hopeful with the Cuevas Classic. That's going to be a good series. It always is. And then who else do I have? Do I have a Robertson Pino on this one? I can't remember. Uh, no, I don't think I do. No, I don't. 
Okay, but I do over on the black gold race. Boom. So these guys are just getting started. They just barely started their road training. They're six miles. Let's see how they're doing here. Select the breeder. So I've got two teams here. I've got a Robertson Pino, and I've got a um, Mackinloff Robertson team. So we've got five birds here on this team. And then... On my Mac and Loft, I think we got four. Mac and Loft. There we go, four. All right. So, yeah, so far, things are looking good in the one loft races. I'm happy with how the birds are doing. Um, I'm very excited. I think we're going to hit in a couple of these races. It would be fantastic if we hit in Hoosier. I doubt that's going to happen, but it's fun, anyways. It's exciting, right? It's fun. So in other news, I've got a few birds that I sent out to friends to fly. And some of those birds are doing really well. Also, I had one bird that I sent out to Utah to fly for my friend Wayne Whiteley. And that bird has been very consistent for him. And then I've got one bird that I sent out to California to fly um, at the little loft on the hill, and that bird is doing really well also. And it's most of the way through the series, I think there's two more young bird races left, and that bird is topping the combine results. Combine champion bird. It's like in the top three, I think. So yeah, we're excited. Fun, fun times. I really appreciate everyone's support, and Thank you to those who um, have trusted me to partner up with. It's been fun. And it's just going to get more fun. Let's see how these birds do. All right, here's the other bird. Anyone recognize him? It's band number 63. He's got a little bit of a few white feathers on his head. Beautiful pearl eye. He's bred one money winner for us. His first year breeding. This is Falco Jr. Perfect bird. This guy has super silky feathers. You hear people talk about that? This guy has it. Several of my birds do. Not all of them, but this one surely does. Oh man, he's got a strong wing too. He is an 11 flight bird. So this is the sire to a Vominos. What a beauty. Really like this guy. I wonder who I'm going to put him with this year. You know, he's been with 22. That's the dam of Vominos. So I could put him back with 22. That's what I did this year. We'll see how their youngsters do. So we could do that or we could try something new. What a gorgeous bird. Love this guy. He is just buoyant. He's light, he's not heavy. And when I try and catch him, he is the speediest bird. <laughs> he just, he is hard to catch. He makes me look like a, a newbie. It's a good thing we don't have that on video. Otherwise, none of you guys would follow my channel anymore. You'd be like, James, you suck. <laughs> you don't know anything about pigeons. <laughs> oh man, Falco Jr. What a guy. If any of you are lucky enough to have one of his offspring, put in the comments what you think. I think there's only a couple that I've let go from him. Falco Jr., folks. All right, so that's kind of a wrap for this video. Hope this finds everyone doing well, as always. What an exciting time of year this is. We got the races going. I mean, it's just fun. Even if you don't have birds that you're flying, you can still follow other people's birds and it's just fun. So good luck to everyone who's flying in the club, your own team. Good luck to those who are flying one loft races. That's fantastic. Um, and good luck and good health and safety to everybody else. 
And until next time, adios.